guys, I recently finished my Tamiya Claude Buster. This is kind of one of those trucks, you know, as a kid, it was the ultimate 4x4. You know, you it was just absolutely the best on the planet. So, I had to relive my old childhood, which has been a long time ago, thank you. But anyway, I got this thing built. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what's in it, give it a quick run, and uh, you guys can hopefully enjoy the video. When I built the truck, I really wanted it to look like what was on the box. So, and I think I did a fairly good job with the paint job and the stickers and all that. Really, really happy with how that turned out. The wheels I got off of eBay, and there is a link in the description to get these. They are full aluminum, and they are adjustable for different offsets. These are close to the stock width. They're out probably an eighth of an inch as far as to make it a little, a little bit wider. But you can set these to be absolutely the stock width of the wheels. The stock steering on the Claude Buster is notoriously bad, and they did not update that. So I've got a Crawford Engineering axle mount servo, and I use one of these servos right here from Hobby King. They actually seem to do pretty darn good. And as far as the links go, that is actually a Red Cat link at the top with Revo ends, and that's an old link that I had made up for a, a suspension on a truck or something. It seems to work pretty darn good. And of course on the back, I got the exact same setup. I'm actually using the stock motors because, well, any upgraded motor may actually mess up this beautiful body. I'd rather keep it in one piece. And they actually do just fine. Now the truck has lights. It has blower lights and they actually come on red at about three quarters throttle. So that's actually pretty cool. They only come on when you're really getting on it. I've got roll bar lights I got off of eBay. I got some chassis lights right there, and I've got some rock lights on the chassis right there. Those are the uh, 3D printed ones. I uh, forget the brand of them, but they're actually for crawlers, but they actually work pretty darn good. On the chassis, we have a six channel receiver, Hobbywing 860 ESC, and under the plate is a Castle BEC and two light controllers. Under the body is a Castle BEC to drop the voltage to 6 volts since it does get straight battery volts, a 8 channel receiver, several light controllers, and all my wonderful wiring for the light. Now the light controllers are about 2 bucks off of eBay. There is a link in the description to get them. So, and it all just seems to work pretty darn good.
hopefully you guys like the video. This is a nice truck and I do like it quite a bit. I don't usually take it off those jumps, but you know, when you're shooting video, you tend to do things you don't normally do. But the truck took it, everything was fine. Hopefully you guys like the uh, light up sequence in the dark. So that was actually fun. So guys, thank you all for watching.